Hello friends, how are you all? I am Priyal Agrawal and I welcome you all in my YouTube channel. So friends, today in this video, we are going to see how we can create a simple 3D model with the help of SOLIDWORKS. And this is the drawing with the help of which we are going to create a solid model friends. So let's start. So friends, for this, let's create a new file first. So here select on the file and from here select new. So friends, here we will select part because we are doing part modeling here. So friends, see, now our interface, SOLIDWORKS, SOLIDWORKS interface has been opened. And now friends, I will select a plane on which I will create my sketch. So friends, here I am selecting front plane. So friends, see, now friends, I will start creating by this circle. So let's start creating this. So friends, here diameter, you can see diameter is 70 mm. So let's create this. So from here, click on circle and create here. And friends, let's get dimension by clicking on smart dimension. So its diameter is given as 70 mm. See friends. Now friends, we will extrude it to a length of, let's see. Here friends, see length is given as 48 mm. So we will extrude it to a length of 48 mm. 48, see friends. Now friends, we will create this base flange. Here friends, its length is 120 mm and its thickness is 10 mm and its height is given as 42 mm. So let's create this. So friends, for this, I am selecting this plane. Let's start getting our sketch here. So here friends, first of all I will create a center line. And after that friends, we need to create a rectangle. Center rectangle I am creating. No friends, we will create a corner rectangle here. See. Now friends, let's define the relation symmetric between these three lines. This line, this line and this line. So friends see, we have uh, select these three lines and among these three lines, relation is given as symmetric. And here friends, its length is given as 120mm and here its thickness is given as 10mm. And friends, distance between this point and this line is given as 105 mm. See friends, distance from the center point of the circle to this line of the rectangle is given as 105 mm. So let's give this dimension. Here friends, it is given as 105 mm. Now friends, we will extrude it. But friends, see. Uh, there is an offset of 6 mm between this face, face of this circle and this boss extrude. A offset is given, a offset of 6 mm. If we will not extrude it right from the sketch plane, we will extrude it at a offset of 6 mm. See friends, here we will select extrude box base and we will not extrude it right from the sketch plane. We will take a offset of 6 mm. So for that friends, here we want to, we don't want to extrude it from a sketch plane. So here friends, we will select offset and we will give offset of 6 mm. And this 6 mm we will give in, give in the opposite direction. And here also opposite direction. And its length is, its extrude length is given as 42 mm. See friends, now we will create, we will click right. See friends, now it has been created. Now friends, we will create this wall. So for this, we will create a rectangle on this face. So here friends, let's create a center line. And now we will create a corner rectangle here. And friends, its length is given as 60 mm. Thickness is given as 6 mm. See friends. Now give lesson symmetric among these three lines. 
now click right now friends we will extrude it up to this surface now friends here instead of giving any dimension we will select up to surface and we will select this surface outer surface of this cylinder see friends Now it has been created. Now friends, we will create this rib. So for this friends, click on rib command and here select right plane. See friends. And now friends, we will create a line here so that we can create rib command. See. And friends, distance of this point from the base is given as 20 mm. See. Now friends, here, thickness of the rib is given as 6 mm. So here we will give dimension 6. Everything is alright, our material will go this side, so we will simply click OK. See friends, now our rib has been created. Now friends, we will create this geometry. So for this, we will create a sketch on right plane. Here select from here, select right plane and sketch. Now friends, for creating this, select line command. And create a line like this. Then a vertical line. Then friends, come back to this point so that we can create an arc. See friends, our arc has been generated. Now come back to this point. See. And from here, we also want to create a circle. So here, create a circle. Now let's start giving dimensions. So friends, center of this circle from this point is given as 42 mm. And its radius, radius of this outer circle is given as 14 mm. And the whole diameter is given as 12 mm. And distance between this line and this line is given as 6 mm. And friends, given distance between this line and this point. Give lesson coincident. See friends. Now it is fully defined. This uh, sketch has turned black. Means it is fully defined. Now we will extrude it. And extrude length is given as friends see. 32, 32, 64 and 3 is 67. So extrude it. We will extrude it to a length of 64, 67 mm. So here friends select mid plane. Because we want uh, this uh, sketch. To extrude on the both side. So we will select mid plane and here we will give dimension of 67 mm and click right. See friends. Now it has been created. Now friends, we will create these two holes. So for this, we will create a sketch on this plane. See friends. Now friends, first we will create a center line so that we can give lesson of symmetric. And now friends, we will create two circles here. Now friends, give lesson symmetric between these two circles. And distance between these two circles is given as 90 mm. Diameter of the circle is given as 15 mm. And distance of this point from this line is given as 21 mm and now friends between this circle and this circle give less than equal because both these circles are of equal diameter see friends now our sketch has been turned black means it's fully defined now we will extrude it here we will select extrude cut because here we want to create a cavity see friends we want to cut it so we will create extrude cut. So see friends. Now our holes has been created. 
Now friends, we will create this wall. Here also a wall is given. So we will create this wall. Then after that, we will create this uh, cut x2 to this circular, circular hole and this cut. So for that, select this sketch, this plane and let's start creating a sketch here. So for this corner rectangle, Now friends, we will create a center line. Friends, between this, uh, this line, it will lie on this point. So here give listen coincident. And between this line, among this line, this line and this line, which, uh, among these three lines, listen is given as symmetric. See friends. And now, the center between this line and this line is specified as 6 mm. See friends. Now we will simply extrude it. So click on features and then click on extrude box space. And here select up to surface and select this surface. See. So our this wall also has been created. Let's start creating our cursor extrude here. Different. This hole is given as a, it's given of diameter 60 mm. So let's create a circle here, and its diameter is given as 60 mm. From features, select extrude cut, and here select up to next. See. So you can see now our cut has been created. Now friends this fillet, this, um, these four fillets, here also friends fillet is given of five radius. So four fillets and this cut is left. So let's uh, create these things. So for the friends let's first uh, give fillets. So friends here fillet radius is given as 16 mm. And friends, from here select on multi radius fillet, so can so that we can give different radius. So friends, here radius is given as five mm, and here also radius is given as five mm. See friends, now click right. See friends, so now our fillet also has been created. Now we will create a cut here. So for that, select this face and click sketch. Now let's create a cut. So for creating cut, create a corner rectangle and a center line. And distance between this line and this line is given as 3 mm. And relation is given as friends symmetric. See friends. Now friends, no need to specify any other dimension. Let's create a cut. See friends, now our cut has been created. Now our cut has been created friends, see. And now our model has been ready. We can also give some materials to it from here. So friends, here various materials are available which we can apply. So here I am selecting chrome. And chrome plate. See friends. Now my material also has been applied. So friends, I really hope you have understand how to create this type of 3D model in the SolidWorks. So friends, if you have understand it well, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please share it to your friends so that they can also understand how to create a 3D model with the help of SolidWorks.